8 negate Draco Paul combo. Welcome to modern Draco Paul, baby. What is going to absolutely blow your mind an 8 negate Draco Paul combo tutorial that's legal with an updated deck profile utilizing the best card that in the entire universe forgot about because when this card resolves you 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 win the duel so without further ado smash that thumbs up button smash the subscribe button and enjoy draco pals are amazing the last draco Ball combo video i made i it wasn't that legal you know what it's all good because it just opened my eyes to even crazier combos you can do with the best card the one of the best pendulum cards in the game when it resolves right now is this card right here Perform Ball Pendulum Source. I'm going to show you right now why this card is not dead and why Draco Pals are not dead. All right. This hand we're going to be doing without Ariane. Obviously, if you open Ariane, it's a million times better. But hit the subscribe button and let's go. Hey, maybe I'll, I'll do three stacks with this deck. Who knows? That's my boy, though. Anyways, let's go straight into the video. So, uh, you can open whatever you want, honestly. The, the idea behind the deck is you have, like, 15 cards that are good when they get popped. So, for example, Wild Hope has... Is, gets a plus one when it's popped. Hamster gets a special two monsters when it's a one card electric when a card gets popped. And you have like 12 cards like Sky Iris, Luster Pendulum, Duelist Alliance, etc. etc. So it's a combination of those and really utilizing Perform a Pendulum Sorcerer. And I'm sure you guys just why it's the best card in the one of the when it resolves in the correct deck, it is the best pendulum card in the game. And I'll show you exactly why. Now, Sky Iris. We won't play any bricks. This is a part of the combo. Obviously, you see Justice Shard Ib is coming in here. Uh, World of Legacy Succession in a Draco Pal deck is absolutely remarkable. We're going to be using Ignister like five times. It's absolutely insane. So, uh, the target for Sorcerer is this and the one card Vortex. So, when Sorcerer resolves, you get Ju Ib, Justice Shard, plus Vortex. Like, that's absolutely insane. And the whole Guard Dragon combo after with Succession. Are you kidding? Like, Sorcerer resolving equals Monster Reborn, Vortex Dragon. And the whole guard dragon combo, so that's absolutely nuts. Uh, here we're gonna use Electrum to send Ariane. If you don't open Ariane, obviously try and send Ariane. And uh, we're gonna pop Sky Iris. I like Sky Iris in the deck because you have so many field spells on the deck, amazing because you have so many cards to pop in the scale by themselves, like Luster, Iris, whatever. And then Electrum gets a plus one by popping the field spell instead of it just staying there. Uh, so we're gonna get nothing left to skill yet, so we don't draw yet Luster. And this time we're gonna get the uh, Ariane pop. Uh, it's way easier to do it through a, a, obviously there's no hand traps involved here but uh if there's hand trap doesn't matter we don't need the counter traps the ariane is just a bonus i'm gonna take it out probably the ariane cards because you could brick if you open two traps but at the end of the day two traps is two traps so uh, normal pendulum summon in here normally you don't need five cards so this just means you're gonna be able to resolve our user for sure uh sorcerer usually you're gonna use sorcerer to add these two but we are playing the deck with as minimal bricks as possible because we're playing four counter traps if we played five counter traps we could add three counter traps here but four is all you need if you're playing ariane and with sky iris the only cards you're playing that are targets are these two which you need both of the combo anyways so they're not bricks if you draw them they're just uh, you kind of do your combo even easier that way so first thing you're gonna do to the combo you go ignister right away in the last combo i used it with L i brought out with agar pain and tried to resummon it which is not you're not allowed to do but uh you go into ignister first okay and then after that you're going to use odd eye synchron to target sorcerer making uh it a level one hence summoning out just a shard broken so opening up succession is amazing i'm telling you right now succession is amazing in this deck uh, so many times i would succession my own electrum even and i'll show you guys how broken this is so we draw four cards here i we draw judge man i'm like okay that's broken whatever though we don't even need it. It is free, uh, free, uh, more in the gates. What we do there is so you just special summon the card we brought with Sorcerer, uh, the Dissolver. And we, those of you who don't know what it does, Dissolver turns into a one card Electro. So Dissolver and the Synchron bought together turn into Vortex Dragon for free. Justice Shard brings out World Chalice Guard Dragon, which is essential for the combo as well, because it's going to bring out Master Pendulum as well. So it's multi purpose. It's actually amazing, man. I actually love it. I don't know how I come up with this shit. Uh, Pisty. Uh, well, I know it's because I'm a genius. Uh, Ignister, Ignister, uh, Ignister's properly summoned, so we're going to be utilizing its effect in, in five times in the turn or something. It's unreal. Uh, Ignister summoned out Master Pendulum. You want these to be different names. Uh, one of them needs to be a Master Pendulum. Uh, these two are going to go Agar Paint. Now, this combo could be done multiple different ways from this point. Agar Paint bring a Hot Red. So, as you notice now, we got look at all this plus, and we have three counter traps in that Hot Red Vortex. We go to our as we have Succession and a Master Pendulum coming back. We haven't used LP yet. Like, this is absolutely insane. Like, that's what I'm saying. You don't need the counter traps because the board itself is broken enough. And but and there's still plenty of space in the extra deck for cards going second. Now we're here going to go into uh, this. Is, there's two ways to do this combo. You could have gone straight in after seal. 
Now, with here, you want to plus. You want to keep plusing, right? So, Master Pendulum, Magister Pendulum is going to activate his effect to be able to get you your Rescue Hamster at the end phase. In fact, Special Luster Pendulum. Here, you can do multiple stuff. You go into uh, Appaloosa over here. It's like your counter traps called a day. I'm going to show you guys right now what I, what I would like to do, what I personally like. Uh, so, just one second here. Yep, so what we're going to do is... Uh, so go back in place. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to this is Nightmare Phoenix. A proxy is, is in the deck in the next replay. I'm sure you guys, Nightmare Phoenix is in there. Then we're going to use the World Legacy Succession, uh, not the effect of Wotan's Guard Dragon. We're, uh, we're going to use Succession to special out the Guard Dragon from the graveyard. Uh, we lost, we already used, we opened two uh, Draco Slayers into the opening hand with Electrum's Draw. So we can't get the extra plus from Ignister using it the fourth time in the turn. So what we're going to be end up doing is just summoning this instead. Otherwise, I would have loved to summon Ignister instead to special the Magus about the uh, Draco Slayer. But instead, we're going to just bring out any card to bring out LP. LP is not going to bring up Distrudo. And now Nightmare Phoenix, Distrudo, and LP is going to go into Boros Sword. It's an underrated card to go into going first. Protecting your seal for sure. So now when your opponent tries to attack into the seal, it's protected by putting it in defense. So now your cards are essentially protected now. Now you're going to activate the effect of Warchild's Guard Dragon, the special of the Master Pendulum from your Graveyard, and the Distrudo from your Graveyard that LP brought out, hence bringing out Dragster. With, uh, I also like to bring on Goliath in that situation, which you could easily do in the next combo. I'll show you guys the combo Goliath. But here you have uh, Dragster, Seal, Boral Sword, Abyss, uh, Hard Red Abyss, uh, Vortex, and Triple Counter Trap. That's eight negates. That's insane. And six, uh, five Omni negates. That's actually actually crazy. You have five Omni negates to their six cards, plus Seal, Dragster, Boral Sword. Good luck. Have fun to that. This one, we're opening up Ariadne, but we don't have the Hamster. Opening Hamster is absolutely ridiculous in this deck. It's just absolutely insane. Especially when you use Electrum to draw. Add, use ha like In the opening hand, if we use, if we didn't add the Ariadne, we hard drew a Counter Trap. So you're not always going to have that one. But... The two you're always gonna have, but if we use Ariane to add back the two level two, uh, two of these, sorry, hamster, hamster, if we had a hamster instead of the Ariane, we had a plus even more. So, I'm gonna show you this one now how what happens if you open Ariane, but I don't think you need to play Ariane, it just uh, more so uh, is Draco Pal, uh, Draco Pal counter traps is super cool, I love it. Uh, I'm gonna go pen four. Uh, this is all you need for the combo, it is these four, five is you get to use so you just draw as well, but you don't really need so you just draw. And now uh, you're gonna add two sorcer sorcerer. Add these guys. How broken the sorcerer is? It's insane. You, uh, here, if you only get to summon level three monsters, for example, if you open up uh, two traps or something like that, or two dead cards. If you open up two dead cards, you could just summon out Master Pendulum with the effect of Ignister, making level one, and you can still do the exact same thing, just a little less power. So you only need three monsters to play. Yeah, after your pen summon, you're using Electrum and three monsters, as long as one of them is a sorcerer and the sorcerer resolves. So same thing here. So you should special that out. Exact same combo here, literally exact same, except the end board is going to be different. Here we're going to go Mass Pendulum again, so we get to get a plus. Now here, when we special the Luster, we're going to, with these, we're going to go into Appaloosa, where they're going to use Succession to bring out an Electrum, because we're going to want a plus for the following turn. We're going to then going to summon out, uh, we're going to use Guard Dragon to bring out Master Pendulum. Uh, Master Pendulum is going to go into the LP, LP is going to go into the Goliath, and then Electrum is going to activate its effect on the LP. To add a card from the uh, to Ariadne, just to have more plusing, because you always want more plusing. The Master Pendulum will also result to have two cards. You're going to have Scales for next turn guaranteed. Electrum for next turn, and you're not playing through Goliath, Triple Appaloosa, uh, Vor Hot Red, Vortex, and Double Counter Trap. You're not playing through that. And plus, Ariadne will be in the Scales, so you don't lose any life points from your Counter Traps. And you're going to get Ad Hamster, which you're going to be able to resolve easily. And yeah, those, that's the combo tutorial. I'm going to show you guys the updated deck quickly. Uh, it, the deck's insane. I'm not even joking when I tell you that. It's not quick, but it's insane. We added face off as well. So, and I'm going to explain everything now quickly. Triple Luster. I already had a, a deck profile for this, but I'll explain quickly with the new additions. Triple Luster Pendulum 1, Master Pendulum 1, Vector Pendulum. You needed to play another Master Pendulum because it's a normal. Uh, so I thought, you know what the hell? I just added face off and a Vector. Why not? Just for this nostalgia purposes. Triple, but it's also not bad. If you, I, I do think you need to play four Jackal Slayers. We ran out of them. Five would have, we could even summon more. You could even play five kind of trap. Anyways. Triple Sorcerer, one on a Synchro, one Dissolver. Absolutely insane. Like this, These cards are remarkable in a Guard Dragon deck. This is the modern Draco Pals, bro. Modern Draco Pals. Triple Ariane, Triple Hamster. Absolutely insane. Wild Hope's insane. Wild Hope, you can easily get a plus from it all the time. A pl plus ones are amazing in this deck. Triple Chronos, one card Electron, because you have, you don't need Time Gazer. Because you have 12 cards that pop before your Pendulum Summon. So the Chronograph will resolve without using its Scale Effect. You don't need to play Bricks in the deck. Then more so than you already need to. Triple Razor. Why not? All level 4s. The whole deck, you just summon level 4s like crazy, like it's nothing. Uh, well, mainly for the, the Ignister plays, not so much for the XYZ plays, because XYZ suck. Uh, Wild Child's Guard Dragon. Uh, drawing it, whatever, you just protect your Electrum if you draw it, so who cares? Uh, Distrudo, Triple Alliance. I think of the Goliath, it's sick, but it's like, you already win, who cares, who needs that? 
Triple Iris and Terraforming. It just uh, turbo into the Synchron Dissolver. These cards are broken. I'm telling you, you just need them. So the fact that you could search it with Sorcerer, uh, Iris, Terraforming, Alliance is just absolutely stupid. And Hard Dragon is fine. You draw a Synchron, a six scale is a high scale in the deck. And you just hold down Dissolver to Special with Asia. Face off another turbo card. World Legacy Succession. Drawing is not dead. The only cards that uh, suck drawing are these four and Dissolver, so these five. Which is why I do want to take these four and Ariane out. So in the future, I might uh, just take out these seven, possibly for a Servant Engine with a lot more spells. Uh, but we're going to see how that goes. And if not, you can just take those seven out for Upstart Triple Into the Void. And there's lots of cards you could play in here. Uh, the, I did my best to cut it to 40 for you guys. Uh, and then the, my this side deck is um, insane right now. I do think you should play Hand Traps as well because... Draw a Lockbird and Ghost Augur, absolutely destroy Thunders. So if you open one of them, you basically just went in. In a 40-card deck, you're going to see it more often. And you're not going to draw into it with all your draw cards because there's not much draw cards in here. Uh, extra deck, LP, uh, Electrum, LP, Pisty, Agar, Pain, Triple Burst, Seal, Sayuja. You don't need double Sayuja. One Phoenix, one Boral Sword. I told you the Phoenix is in there. One Justice Shar, one Ignister, one Hot Red, one Dragster, Vortex, Magister. That's insane. It can end on so many different boards, lines of plays. You can end on Harbinger if you want to, but it's not that good of a card, I think. It just who cares about negating a spell uh, when you have all these cards. That's insane. That's absolutely remarkable. Uh, you can do so much stuff with it. I do think the most competitive version would be to take D7 out and add more consistent cards, but the fact that Sorcerer adds equals a Monster Reborn, a whole Guard Dragon combo, and a one-card Vortex Dragon is absolutely crazy. So that's it, that, guys. I hope you enjoy it. See you guys in the next video. Peace.